Hi, my name is Ash Lunen. My pronouns are they, them, and I'm the Youth Program Coordinator at the Center for Independent Living, also known as the CIO. We are a disability organization that really tries to bring more access to people with disabilities and more opportunities for awareness and collaboration for the community at large. And we're so excited to be reading with you for this readathon. Today, we will be reading I Talk Like a River by Jordan Scott and Sydney Smith. I wake up with the sounds of words each morning all around me. P is for the pine tree outside my bedroom window. K for the crow in its branches. M for the moon fading in the morning sky. I wake up each morning with the sounds of words all around me. And I can't say them all. The p in pine tree grows roots inside my mouth and tangles my tongue. The k is a crow that sticks in the back of my throat. The m in moon dusts my lips with a magic that only makes me mumble. I wake up in the morning with these words Sounds stuck in my mouth. I stay quiet as a stone. I eat my oatmeal without a peep. I get ready for the day without a word. At school, I hide in the back of class. I hope I don't have to talk. When my teacher asks me a question, all of my classmates turn and look. They don't see a pine tree sticking out from my lips instead of a tongue. They don't hear a crow caw, caw inside my throat. They don't hide their eyes from the moonlight that shines from my open mouth. All they hear is how I don't talk like them. All they see is how strange my face looks and that I can't hide how scared I am. My mouth isn't working. It's full of words of the morning. Mornings are always hard, but this one is especially tough. I'm more stuck than ever. My teacher says we all have to talk about our favorite place in the world. Today is my turn, but my mouth just isn't working, and I want to go home. My dad picks me up from school. It's just a bad speech day, he says. Let's go somewhere quiet. My dad takes me to the river. We walk along the shore looking for colorful rocks and water bugs. It feels good to be quiet and alone with my dad, but I can't stop thinking about my bad speech day. All of those eyes watching, my lips twist and twirl, all of those mouths giggling and laughing. I feel a storm in my belly. My eyes fill with rain. My dad sees I am sad and pulls me close. He points to the river and says, See how that water moves? 
That's how you speak. I look at the water. Bubbling, whirling, churning, and crashing. My dad says I talk like a river. This is what I like to remember to help my stop to help myself stop myself from crying. I talk like a river. Or if I'm not wanting to speak at all, I talk like a river. When the words around me are hard to say, I think of the proud river. Bubbling, churning, whirling, and crashing. And I also think of the calm river beyond the rapids where the water is smooth and glistening. This is how my mouth moves. This is how I speak. Even the river stutters like I do. I wake up in the morning with the sounds of words all around me. I go to school and tell my class about my favorite place in the world. I talk about the river. And I talk like a river. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story. Bye.